Springfield. Oh yeah. Ow! It's his second book. Gotta go get it. Magnificent vibrations. Congratulations. Thank you. Excellent. Rick Springfield, a novelist. So tell us about Magnificent Vibrations. Um, it's uh, an extreme novel. It's what they call it, an extreme novel. It calls uh, metaphysical, science fiction, true life. A guy uh, gets a, a skills of self-help book. Young guy, 32 years old, not as young to me. And uh, <laughs> he's just gone through a brutal divorce, hates his life. And he steals a self-help book called Magnificent Vibration, Discover Your True Purpose. And on the inside cover is a, a phone number, 1-800-CALL-GOD. So he makes a call on his cell phone, and it actually turns out to be God. He doesn't believe it at first, but uh, he eventually realizes it is God, and God has a bit of an attitude, and he's very, very pissed off at what we have done to his beautiful planet. <laughs> and so it goes south from there. But, uh, you know, lots of twists and turns. And uh, Anyone here read it? I started. I started. <laughs> Did I sum it up, kind of? Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> so far. <laughs> now, writing, is it just as rewarding as performing live? Because you do a lot of shows. I mean, you're on the road every week of the year. Yeah, it's a different reward. I mean, it's a different feeling. It's something you put a lot of time into. And uh, um, Whereas a show is like a party. You know, you go there, you do the show, and it's over. But writing, it's all, you're always there. You're always in that, in that head space. Well, I would think it's a sense of accomplishment. Too, as you finish writing it. Um, yeah, I, I, th I think so. Uh, the accomplishment is that people like it. <laughs> I'm very needy. I'm a very needy writer. I'm sorry, it's pathetic. <laughs> the accomplishment of people go, yeah, that's really good. So, what do you want the reader to walk away with besides, hey, that was really good? Thinking I'm awesome. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you know. Who thinks Rick my, is awesome? My, my wish list. <laughs> my wish list is very small. Like my ego. <laughs> well, you got the writing bug. Any more books on the way, you think? Mm. I'm actually halfway through the sequel uh, for, the, for this because it ends at a cliffhanger and I, I wanted to know what happens, basically. <laughs> and it goes even further south. All right, so uh, we got all your fans here. Let's open up the room to uh, some Q&A, questions and answers. Let's do it. We got a roving mic or is that I'll, I'll be the roving oh, okay. mic. Thanks, Maria. The roving mic. I like your t-shirt too, by the way. Raise your hand. You got a question for Rick Springfield. Here we go. I just want to know if you're ever going to be back on GH. GH, what's that? <laughs> oh. Dr. Noah Drake. Um, <laughs> well, I did it. I did it for, I went back for like eight months or something. Right. And it's, it's a lot of work. You don't know how hard doing a soap opera is. It's hard for the actors. It's hard for the directors. It's hard for the writers. And, uh, and I, I actually don't have time. To put, I don't have that need to put that much time. I mean, I I did a, a Drop Dead Diva episode recently, and it, saw it. <laughs> and it doesn't take, you know, you can do other stuff around that because they just shoot like a scene a day. But you, with a, a soap, there's so much dialogue. You've got to put so much time into memorization that, it, to me, it becomes about line memorization and not acting. But there are actors on it that kill it and are, are amazing. But uh, I'm not one of them. It takes me a while to get into the character and into the part. I would say I wouldn't say I'd never go back because I owe General Hospital. <laughs> Definitely owe them. Well, I'll be looking for you. <laughs> I'll let you know. Thank you. <laughs> now Anybody? Rick is coming back to town with Pat Benatar. You got a big show, July nineteenth, Comerica. What are we in for with that? Um, I, we're both doing uh, a bunch of Loverboy songs, so <laughs> you're not going to hear any of our own music, but. It's called Tribute to Loverboy. And, uh, <laughs> no, uh, we'll be doing all the hits, and we, you know, collectively we have some great songs. Uh, very high energy. Uh, we both have killer bands, and uh, it's it's, it's going to be a great. Neil played actually. Neil Giraldo, Pat's husband, played on uh, the original recording of Jesse's Girl. He played the gu guitar on that. So it's it's been a long time coming. It's been like what, thirty over thirty years that we haven't that we know each other and haven't toured together. So. Really looking forward to it. Do you think you'll do a duet with Pat? Like actually get up together? Um, I don't know. We haven't we haven't thought that far yet. You could put that in. Yep. Go ahead. You got, a, you got a signature move that Maria is hypnotized by. Yeah. Oh, should we do the rose thing? Yeah, why not? Okay, so how many of you guys have seen Rick in concert? 
and he does the guitar and he like shreds the roses on yes. the guitar. I want to learn how to do that. <laughs> Will you teach me? I can teach you. Right. Here we go. Don't try this at home. <laughs> I'm a professional. So I got six for you. Oh, the thorns are gone. Yes, thank God. <laughs> you don't know how many times I've grabbed these from audience, audience members and there have been thorns in the... I don't have a strap though. You don't have a strap? Well, the main thing is you got to get a good swing going, right? It's harder on these because they don't have the, the, the weight of an electric. You've been like stand there, so. Oh. <laughs> and uh, you got to have a chord. Oh, it's in tune. Oh. Wow. There's nothing uglier than a guitar that's not in tune. All right. See? You get them all together. And you go. Pretend you're Gomez Adams. <laughs> I'm going to stand over here. We love you. Okay. I've never played guitar in my whole life. You don't need to. Wait. Oh. You get it get a good get it on the end of the roses so you can get oh. so you, you know you get the whack going. Okay, I like that. I'm putting a DVD DVD out soon on how to do this, so please look for it in your local stores. Okay, so it's going to be that kind of move. Yep. See, it's not as easy as it looks. Hit it harder. Don't be afraid to hurt the guitar. There you go. Hey! Woo! All right. Any more questions in the crowd? We got one way back there. Well done. Uh, where's the mic? And you got some roses left. So. Yeah. Full hand roses. Once again, Rick is signing his book, Magnificent Vibrations, at Changing Hands Bookstore tonight in Tempe as the roses make their way to the back. And is it difficult to clean the guitar? What's that? Is it difficult to clean the guitar afterwards? I have a guitar tape to do that. I don't actually do it myself. But yes, it does destroy the guitar after a while because it's actually quite a, quite a corrosive. The rose juice <laughs> gets in there into the pickups and uh, does, definitely does, does damage to the guitar. Thank you. I have a question. Hey, Rick. Jenny, nice to see you again. Thanks for being here. Here's my question. It's a quote from the book, if I may. Bob Dammit. How the hell do you come up with Bob Dammit? It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> he, uh, uh, well, he's talking to God. And, uh, and he says, uh, I think God says, God damn it. And, and he says, God says, God damn it. And God says, yeah, when it's appropriate. He said, but that's like me saying Bob Dammit. His name is Bob. He says, well, no, your name's really Horatio. It'd be Horatio Dammit. So it, it go, it's, it, you have to get into the context of the book, but yes. That's hysterical. I spit my coffee out when I was reading it because I don't think of you as a comedian. No offense. You've been many things, but not a comedian. Well, you said, my, 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 I do a solo show, a storyteller show that, that's actually pretty funny. Um, it's a lot of humorous stories from my autobiography. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of a lot of laughs in that. But I, I I write. I love to write comedy. I mean, it's dark comedy. It has a hopefully it has a, a point and a, and a and a truth and a, a soul. It's not just you know all for laughs. I mean, there is. I think there is a, a, a message of some sort in the book. And uh, it's free, you know whatever you pull out of it. But uh, I I can be a funny guy now. Man. <laughs> funny looking. Steve Goddard has a question. If you're casting the movie when you sell the movie rights, who would you like to play God? Jack Nicholson. He's the, he's, he's the only one with the attitude. That's, that's a great answer. And he'd have, he'd have such an attitude, he'd go, I'm not playing God, fuck that. We are live, right? Oh, sorry. Okay. We, have a, we have a question over here. You know, there is a... Uh, uh, an actual situation called death comedy that's very popular. Is yours out on CD that we could pick up? Uh, my my what? You said you you do a little humor. Oh, the 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 solo show. Uh -huh. Yeah, there will be a DVD. Yeah, we filmed filmed the show in Dallas uh, a couple of months ago, and that'll be eventually out. Nice. Uh, 
There's a song I wrote, uh, especially for it, called If Wishes with Fishes. It's pretty humorous. <laughs> that people want that, so. We got a question up here. Oh, hold on. Do you, think, do you see a third book coming out? I just said a uh, yes. Second. Well, I'm writing a sequel to this now. Well, after that will be I don't know. I don't oh, know where. She wants you to plan way ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't think I'd, there'd be a sequel to this, but it kind of begged the sequel after I finished it. So I don't know where this other one's going to end up. I really don't. That's kind of how I write. I write I write these like I write songs. It's just start out with the first line and then let it let it go and see where it goes. Hopefully it doesn't go in the toilet. <laughs> so is it harder to write your memoir and talk about yourself or to make up characters and write fiction? Much more fun to make up fiction. <laughs> I don't have to apologize for being a jerk. Because <laughs> if anyone's read my autobiography, it, uh, it's not, it's a warts and all book. And uh, I know a lot of, I've, since I've read others since, and it, some of them are kind of image polishing, you know, how cool, stressing how cool they are and that kind of thing. Mine stresses what a dick I've been through most of my life. But you would think that would be therapeutic though, you get it all on paper. Yeah, it was and great. Then, and then you're done. It, it was very therapeutic to write it because I had, I've suffered from depression and, and, uh, and, and it showed me that, that the upside of my depression is that's where songs come from, that's Absolutely. where writing comes from, is because you look inward when you get depressed because you want to know what's going on. When you're happy, you know, I got this image originally as a happy, shiny pop guy, you know, which is kind of humorous to me because <laughs> I'm still not that. But, um, it's, uh, and I have ADD too, so I completely forget sometimes what I'm talking about. What was I talking about? <laughs> That we're gonna go have lunch at Taco Bell after this. What's that? We're gonna have lunch at Taco Bell. Yeah. Are oh, we saying that? No. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. I forgot. I forgot to say that. I tried. <laughs> uh, we got some questions in the back. Taco Bell. Would you mind singing just a little bit of Jesse's girlfriend? Would you mind singing? Hang on. Someone's calling me. <laughs> oh, it's my manager. I'll call it back. <laughs> uh, would I mind what? Is there a guitar in tune? Is there a guitar in tune in here? This one in tune? This one? Yeah, this one. There you go. How's it going? I don't know. <laughs> Oh man, I can't sing, I ain't pretty, and my legs are thin Don't ask what I think of you, I might not give the answer that you want me to This isn't Jesse Girl This is better <laughs> Vibrations, thanks for coming in. Changing Hands Bookstore. Yay! Thank you very much. We're going to need some pictures. Yes. So if you guys um, line up on this side, we'll come around on this side.